Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's begin our discussion today. Today, we're going to get a particular topic out of the way. And that topic is data base. What is a database? Who can tell me? Yes, who can tell me? What is a database? You people are doing database this semester, right? No. Have you heard the word database before? Well, what is a database then? Okay, what is a? Hey, are people there? Or I should start mentioning names. You let me start mentioning names. There. Derek, what do you think the database yeah, is? Are people there? Or I should start. Oh, I'm... sir. Yes, sir. I think it is a, a, a group of information that's stored in the computers. Mm. A group Sorry, of you get a definition. A group of information stored in a computer. HP. Okay. Isaac, what do you also think? Uh, just as he said, it's a collection of uh, an organized data that is stored in a computer system. Mm. Now, a database, as you people say, is an organized collection of data that can be easily assessed, managed, and updated. In the modern day term of a database, the database itself is a relational database, which means that the table structures that it has they must have a relationship among themselves. So MySQL, which would be the database of choice we are using, is an open source relational database management system, meaning it is used, it, or it's meaning it uses a table based structure where data is stored in rows and columns, facilitate, facilitating a direct relationship between data points. We must understand how a database functions and how the database functions will help us to understand how we can structure our information. 
the database itself, the word database is a word in which when students are learning this word, they find it difficult to form associations with this word. They find it very difficult to learn or to know how this word associates with the things in which they do. The database itself, if we are bringing it to real world English, is the term we use for a particular environment. What do I mean by environment? The word I mean by environment is, for example, you have a school database. You have a, 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 a bank database. You have a hospital database. The word database here is used to describe the particular entities which exist within these environments. So it is very key for us to understand that when we say the word environment, if I take school, I can take the university, I can take, a, a, for example, a dancing school, I can take a gym, I can take a, 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 a preschool for children. Each of these things here have different requirements that make up that environment. For example, in the university alone, I can say that I am talking about the university finance department. So the finance department in the university is the only thing in which I am targeting when I am building a system of this nature. That means the environment I'm talking about is the university finance. We do not have a database for students, a database for teacher, a database for course, a database for department. All of these things together form the database in which we keep them all inside. Now, in a particular environment, for example, if we take the environment for school database, and we say that the school environment we are mimicking our database on is the university one. you must identify the people who play a role in that environment. The people who play a role in a school environment. Prince, give me an example of a person who plays a role in a school environment. Prince, we are muted and we heard a girl shouting. Isaac, give me an example of a person who plays a role in a school environment. Say yourself, Electra. Okay. So here I have Electra. What else? HPM, HP. Elite book. That's the name that is here. Isn't it our only lady? Oh, she is a treasure baby. She is treasure. Well, there's no treasure bill over here. HP Elite Notebook. On the, on the Zoom, I am not treasure babe. Hey, you are HP Elite Notebook. Oh, oh. Give me an example of a person who plays a role in the school. 
Is it any school or the university? The university. Mm. Okay, let's take a question. You said what? Let's take a question. I heard talkative. Secretary. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you, see, you do not want, whenever you are identifying people who play a role in a particular environment, you want to specify names which describe a group of them. So the secretaries, the academic workers, all of those people, you classify all of them as what? Employees. Are we okay? You want a group name for all of them. Now, under the group name employee, we can have categories for the various worker groups that we have. So we want a name that would classify a particular group of people. Frederick, can you give me an example? Uh, the question again. Hey, Frederick, so all I, when I was talking, you were not listening. Uh, oh, so, so I was listening there that at a point there, uh, what your voice broke into. Okay, this. no problem, Frederick. I'm saying that in the school environment I have over here, give me some people who play a role or act in that school. If it is a university, give me a, people who play a role in that environment. And we said lecturer and employees. So what else plays a role in that environment? Students. Students, thank you. Prince Charles, are you back? Can you give me an example of a person who plays a role in this environment? Prince Charles is absent. Class, uh, class Red, can we try again? Give me another example of a person who plays a role in an environment like this. The HR. The HR is an employee. Again, you want to categorize the people who play a role in that environment. So we have categorized them as what? Employees. Please watch your screen. Watch the things which are there. Are we okay? Cleaners. Cleaners, are they not employees? Yeah, please, the us are not an employee. Very good. So the question is that the lecturers are also employees, so they should not even be what? There. Because they are all what? Employees. Very good. So right now we have two. We have employees of the university and then we have what? Students of the university. So what else do we have? Uh... All of you in this group here, where do you belong to? Which department do you belong to? Uh, we are belong to the student group. You belong to the student group. What department do you belong to? IT department. So in the university, you will find what? Departments. I do not part of. Departments. What are you people learning right now? Web technology. Okay. Now, the what you are learning right now, what do we call it? A course. So in the university, you find what? Courses or programs. Courses. 
at the end of every semester, they give you a what? A bill, right? Yeah, fees. The fees. So in the university, you always find bills that people use to go and pay their fees, right? Let's take another environment. Let's take a hospital. In a hospital, who are the act actors you find there? Employees. So you find doctors. And in this case, doctors are all employees, but I just want to separate them. So we'll find doctors and we'll find admin workers. Are we okay? And then we'll find nurses. Okay? So I've taken these three out. So don't come and okay. mention water. Don't come and mention cleaner. Don't then leave those people alone. Are we okay? What else will you find there? Patients. So who are the admin the admin workers? Pardon? Who are the admin workers? Who are the admin workers? Yeah. When you go to the hospital, the, there are people who like the IT tech, the the porters, the cleaners, all of those people are administrative workers. Those who attend to you and ask you for your hospital card and all those ones. Uh... They are all admin workers. Are we okay? Sweetheart, are we okay? Yeah, but I'm not satisfied. Why are you not satisfied? I'm trying to say that those, uh, this guy just mentioned that those and I drink water. Will, will meet you and ask your hospital staff and I don't know nurses. No, they are not all, all of them are nurses. They are not? They are not nurses. Even in our school, not everyone is a lecturer. Yes, that is how he asked the employees. That's why when he said employees, they are oh. Oh. Uh, listen to me. All mm -hmm. employees that are not doctors and nurses are administrative workers. That means that their duties are essential for the running of the uh, the hospital. But they are not healthcare workers. So when you go to the hospital, not everybody who works there is a nurse or a doctor. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So anybody who is not a doctor or a nurse, we are classifying that person as an admin worker. Because I know you people, you come and start mentioning cleaner, porter, eh, 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 the people who, when the patient comes, they will wheel them to the place, the porters, the, the, the cafeteria women, all of those people, all of them, they fall under this. Are you okay? Gardeners. I said patients. Patients. What else? When you go to a hospital, what else can you find? Can you find the hospital bed? OPD. The hospital bed, the OPD, what are they called? The hospital property. <laughs> <laughs> the oh my god the world. oh my god oh my god they all belong to the world or they don't belong to the world yeah, I am, but I want to be 
Hello, guys. It's a mortuary. You find the morgue, and the morgue is an example of the morgue. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and the mold is an example of the world. You see, eh? wait, the what? The pharmacy. You see, eh? when whenever they say you are doing programming or whenever someone says you are a programming person and or you're a software designer it comes with observations like this you see you must be able to see or identify the people who play a role in a particular environment it is essential that you know who plays a role in your environment. You see, the environment that you would have will help you to identify the relationships that you would need to code. So if you can't identify the people, you can't code what they will do and what information to store. So you have nothing to store in your database. So you knowing the people who play a role in the environment is very important. Studying the environment, understanding how the environment works, knowing who plays a role there and who does not play a role in the environment. It's very important. If I have an environment, or a hotel, Who are the actors who play a role in my environment called hotel? We have, can you tell me if I had a hotel, what would be the people I'll be looking at to have a relationship with in the hotel? Remember, you are mentioning the group names. Are we okay? The group names, not the individuals, but the group. So if I have a hotel, what can I find in a hotel? Manager. We can find employees. Employees. What else can I find in a hotel? Guests. You can find guests. What else can I find in a hotel? Manager. The manager, is he not an employee? Isaac. Okay. So, okay. okay. What else can I find in a hotel? Bed. The hotel, you don't find the bed. The beds are all in rooms. So you find what? Rooms. rooms. Not the bed. Do you, do you understand? Okay, when, you stay in the whole building. when I say what? Why not stay in the whole building? Because the rooms are in the building. Okay, that's a great thing. The whole building is the what? What I've highlighted, mention it for me. The hotel. So in the whole building, what can you find? That is the question we are asking. 
And in every room, there will be a bed. If you say bed, some rooms will have two beds, some will have one bed, some will have a queen size bed. So it means that you open yourself Hotel. up. You open yourself up to mention the individual beds. Do you understand? Do we all understand? Are we yeah, there? Yeah, it. If I have a small shop and I want to do a database for a shop, and the database would be, or the, the shop would be an online shop, keyword, online. So I'm doing a database for a shop, but the shop is an online shop. What are the things I should consider? And please don't say employee. The items or goods. Service providers. Service provider, that's the bad thing for me. That is an online, so you need a like an ISP. Hey, our brand here. Oh no, no, no. The ISP part, leave it, leave it aside because the person's internet will bring him there. So you, what does the ISP have to do with you? Do you understand? The ISP has nothing to do with you. Do you understand? Uh -huh. Please give me a second, man. The, the ISP has nothing to do with you, okay? So, you know, ISP is not part. So, items, what again? I'm listening, what again? Hello? Hello? Oh. Again. Sonny, I don't know what to say, bro. All of you here have not used an online shop before. Yeah, it will be the internet. The online shop, the shop, the internet is coming from you. It has nothing to do with the shop. So in the shop, what are we looking at? Let, let me break it down. For instance, you are going to Gigi and you want to buy something. What do you say there? You want to buy something and you want to go to Gigi or Amazon or Walmart. When you go there, you will see the items you want to buy. After mm. the items, and you click on the items, where does it go into? We will find the price. When you I click mean, on the item, where does it go to? Cut. <laughs> and after cutting the things, and you are finished, yes, click, where does it go to? Order. You said what? I didn't hear you. <laughs> Caris. Advertising. Is this advertising? Advertising. The advertising, no, it's not part of the things we gather. Okay, so you let, let's. Uh, I'm starting to see a, a, a big problem. So let's let's re re, re hey. Yes, hey. yes. Uh, uh, maybe if you tell us the uh, reason why we need a database, maybe we will appreciate. When you we want to do 
a database for a particular class, then we 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 will know what to say. So I think um, most of us don't know why we need a database. You don't know. So why maybe we need if okay. yeah. Okay. So maybe if you can throw light on it, then that will be that will clear the when you make a request for us to uh, list items for a particular class of uh, make a database for a particular thing, then okay, we can contribute. I see. Okay. Let's re restructure this again. Are you okay? Let's oh. restructure this again. So. Oh. Hello, sir. If I have, I ah, our only lady, are you on the call? Sir, I am asking, I am telling you something. There's someone on the line who is just on and off. I don't know the person's issue. Who's on and off? The person is busy or something. He, 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 he. But the person has been muted. He's not mute. He's been on and off, on and off like that. Mm. Okay. It's not stable. The person is not stable at all. Okay. When the person, right now, the person is muted. So when they come back, I'll put it off. Okay. Okay. So let me start my lecture again. Are we okay? A database is an organized collection of data that can easily be assessed and managed and updated. A database is a collection of data that can, is, a, is, an, is an organized collection of data that can be easily assessed, managed, and updated. Are we okay? Now, for me to have a database, it means that there's a word in which students use. They'll say uh, the, the student's database. This is wrong. The, student, the word student's database is wrong. Because the student himself cannot have his or her own database. It is a collection of organized data. So if the data is only on one thing, then it is not a collection. Hence, you don't have a database. The data must be organized. That means that the data that you are collecting has to have meaning to why you are collecting that data. That means that before I collect that data, I must have a purpose to which the data would be used. Do we understand what I just said? Anybody here who does not want to understand what I just said? Can I go on? Are we there? Isaac, are you there? Uh, so yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can I go on? Yeah, so it means that if I understand what you said, it means um, if we take um, like the school, for example, 
the employees, the order you listed. That is what becomes a database. All of them together become the database. Becomes a database. Yes. Okay. So, for example, if I'm designing a database, right? I'm designing a database. And okay. the database I'm designing is for a school. Note that there must be context. The school, for example, is a dancing school, right? That means that the database in which I'm going to have for the dancing school is going to be number one, the students who are going to come to the school to come and dance. The students must enroll for various what, classes. The classes will be taught by particular what, instructors. Then we must see the enrollment of the students. After that, we must see if there are events that the students will have to communicate to do, you know, to mark their milestones to finish their class. So after every class, there'll be an event for them to do. And then we have payment. So all of this information combined make up my school, which is a what? Dancing school. If I am taking a school, which is a preschool, I hope you all know what preschool means, right? Under one, uh, under three daycare, so on and so forth. If I was designing a school database for it, I would have the students who will be coming to the school. Of course, I would need to know the parents of the students. I would need to know what classes they are scheduled for. I would need to know the teachers who will be taking the courses. I will need to know the daily activity that the child will be doing so that the parents can keep track and know that the child is doing proper things in what? In school. I need to know the attendance, to know that, oh, today he came and today he didn't come so that I can give this information to either the government or anybody who comes. I need to know the meal plan of the students. I need to know all of these things so that I can create or form a database for my school, which is a preschool. We have a school here. We have a school down here too. This school's environment dictates the number of things we should come there. That means that before you design a database for someone, you must know the environment and know who plays a role in that environment and who does not play a role in that specific environment? As you can see, when I'm listing the things here, I am not listing them in their individual qualities. Because, for example, over here, when I say class, I can have rumba class, uh, uh, salsa class, uh, whatever, whatever class, all the classes can be listed over here. But together, they are all one class. If I go to the preschool side, for you to be a class, I need to know your term and some other information for me to know, oh, this is the class that you are belong to. So when taking the information, you want information that a group can have the same characteristics on, not just one characteristic out of the group. So for example, if you take the hotel and you mention bed, the bed belongs to a room and the room has other characteristics which include bed. So I can't use the bed alone as the, as the, as the, as the demarcation of the entire group. Do we understand? Do we understand? HP, do you understand? 
Hello, sir. Yes. Can you hear me, sir? I can hear you. Continue. Okay, so like what you just said, understandable. But um, so where are we going to also keep an account of like um, what uh, uh, Regina just, uh, Regina just mentioned?